<clears throat> Welcome back to everybody to Let's Play Quest 64. Brian is on the third floor of Brannock Castle, maybe third ish floor. Uh, there's, you know, plenty of us room for us to go into. Hey, Dragon Potion, yay! Open the door. In this doorway, there's not really a reason for this room at all. I don't know, I don't see any doors on the bottom, so I really don't know why this room is even here. But. Anyway, if we keep uh, going around, we will find the second to last spirit in this game. Here it is. Uh, let's bump our water up. Uh, in terms of water skills, I think we learn Soul Searcher level 2 uh, very soon, maybe 32 or 33. And then, if I were to keep working on water, we would learn Walking Water at 35. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to get up to that point, but we'll see. Given all the battles that we have to keep facing out here, just maybe. Uh, let's try Avalanche on these guys, see if that does anything for us. Well, I killed one of them. Ooh, two of them! Even better! Now, just see how many... Alright, so now we just gotta deal with this Red Knight again. And the problem with them is that they have high agility to start with, and then they use agility up, which makes it even harder to hit them. Uh, like I mentioned in the last video, if you really wanted to grind on your stats up to about 100 for agility and 100 for defense, you would be golden. Or, pretty, well, you'd be pretty darn awesome. Let's say that. Alright, so now let's say 4th floor? What do you guys think? Uh, let's see here. 4th floor. This is another weird room that, does, I don't know why it's in here. It just has all these random pillars and walkways and bridges and you know I don't I don't I don't understand the purpose of this room but whatever I'm sure Bell just has some kind of motif going on that I don't get apparently it's the dark and gloomy motif but you know I'm not here to criticize his uh, choice of decor the, I, I, still, I don't really like the checkerboard uh, tiling on the side of the wall though that's just my opinion uh, let's see here, Rock. Rock does a good job on these two. Let's see here, how many more whacks is it going to take to get to these guys? Unfortunately, you know, it doesn't really matter what angle you guys you hit them from; they're still going to take the same amount of damage. Uh, let's try Hot Steam. Hmm, Fire does not seem to be super effective on them. That's okay. We can still whack them. Ha ha. And we're actually getting close to another spirit, which is can be quite useful, because in fact I think we're actually kind of close to um, a battle, like I like like you know a battle battle <clears throat> battle bots. Does anybody remember that show on the Comedy Central? You know where they had the robots and they were basically killing each other to the death. And they would either use, you know, grinders or pickaxes or whatever they could to uh, kill or flippers. I, just, I remember that one that, you know, that always came on the show and it was like, uh, it didn't really have a whole lot. It was very flat and it had like a lifting mechanism. So basically what it would try and do is, you know, flip the, flip its opponent over and basically immobilize it. You know, because robots have a hard time getting up. If they don't, you know, if they're built, you know, in a particular way. Uh, oh, I meant to hit both of you guys, but whatever. Oh, jeez. Alright, here we go. Wind Bomb! See if I can lower your agility back down. Wind Bomb! Yes, I lowered one of yours down already. Sweet, that should make it easier to whack you. Yay, I whacked you. I whacked you good. Ooh, come on, Brian. There we go. Very well done, Brian. Very well done. Uh, let's see here. So, yeah, we've got... Uh, definitely going to be... I don't know how long it's going to take. I mean... Well, we'll just get to it when we get to it, I suppose. I don't want to be contemplating over things too much. What would you guys say now? We are now the fifth floor? I really haven't been keeping track. Uh, let's say the fifth floor. Why not? And then up here would be the sixth floor. This is some interesting music. One, you know, one thing I will give uh, this game is that it has it has good music, 
but the only problem is that the segments themselves are a little short in time so they start repeating really quickly and they get kind of annoying but yeah what you gonna do ooh it was nice that we actually managed to hit one of these guys for 150 uh, damage I mean you know we are getting a little bit more powerful uh, Brian Mm, Brian, run away, run away, Brian. Uh oh. Oh boy. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and use an, an item here. Why not? Yeah, HP full recovery, spirit light, go! Yeah, that would have killed us. That would have killed us. I'm pretty sure we're, 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 we've gathered enough items so that I can kind of use them willy nilly here at this point in the game. Which, you know, normally I'd be more hesitant about, but there really isn't... Ooh, new door. Fancy door. Um, Brian, why can't you look at what's ahead of you? I'm trying to arrange the... I'm trying to adjust the angle, but I can't get it in f to see what's in front. That's okay. Uh, 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 hi! <laughs> I have just been using you to experiment. Now... Give me all of the magical powers that you have obtained! Well, this is guilty, guys. This is Belgis's right hand man. He has about eight seventeen hundred or eighteen hundred HP, I forget. And he has no specified if I remember correctly, he has no specified type. So he's a neutral. Kinda like Ryan is. Uh I'm just investigating all these my different techniques to see which you know what what will work better on him mm, oh definitely not wind oh my gosh definitely not wind uh... gotta walk up to test some water uh, yeah fire winds fire winds fire winds for sure alright so we're gonna be attacking him from afar yeah i mean each the fire level three gets us about thirty hp in so that's good that's good for us of course you know we could just be you know if we wanted to just abuse the game well, again, abuse is a, a harsh term for it, but we could use, let's see here, we could use magic barrier to so that we become immune to his uh, physical or his magic attacks. We could use uh, power staff level 2, and then let's, uh, let's activate vampire touch, so that way we heal. Again, there's no guarantee how long he, all of these will last for, but... Uh, well, you know, it was nice while it lasted, and that's for sure. <laughs> you were able to hurt him a, you know, a modest amount. What was it, like, at least 300 in that one bit right there. Fortunately, his distance attack is weaker than his up than his close attack, obviously, so you probably want to stay far away as possible. And if you want to, then you can investigate different techniques like, you know, combining... Uh, vampire touch and magic barrier stuff like that if you want to try and reheal but again there's no guarantee on how many turns you're gonna that's gonna last for so you have to be careful on that uh, now would probably be a good time to heal let's hear what else we can we find we have oh uh-huh we still have a honey bread on how cute remember when honey bread actually used to help us a lot I miss those days don't you guys uh, anyway <coughs> We have to defeat Guilty. Too bad we don't have any electrical attacks, because otherwise, you know, we could say that he's guilty as charged. But no, no, that would just be silly. All right, so, uh, ooh. all right, okay. I really need to figure out what did, what happened with my uh, screensaver because now it's going back off every five minutes. This didn't used to happen, or at least it didn't for a very long time. Uh, anyway, um, let's go ahead and use a mint leaf, or hero drink, sure, hero drinks works too. I think hero drinks are better than mint leaves anyway, so let's go ahead and use that, Eve, and now let's try and heal up a bit, healing potion, and we should be good for about the rest of this battle, I mean, I haven't really been keeping really close tabs on how we've been hurting them, but... You know, all these little bits here and there and here and there would hopefully be enough to start, you know, bringing them down. Uh, I really don't, I haven't been paying close enough attention to whether or not he shows any kind of actual physical weakness. Although he's now using his, 
He's, he's walking up and trying to use his physical attacks a lot more, so that could be a sign that he's getting weaker, or he's starting to resort just on uh, his physical attacks, but, yeah, well, it's not physical, his, his close range attacks, I should say. Um, oh man. And unfortunately, you know, even if we were to try and use something like Soul Searcher, it's only going to tell us his max HP, it's not going to tell us how much he currently has left. Uh, let's do a little bit more healing, and then we will go back and try and whack this guy dead. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work or not, but it's an idea. It's definitely an idea. Probably not the best technique, but it's it's a technique still nonetheless. Whack! Yeah! Alright, I can take one more hit. And he can't! Ha! Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so that was... Oh, I guess our HP's healed. Which way, do we, uh, which way did we come in? Great, I forgot. Did we come in through this door? Uh, No, we did not come in through this door because we have to keep going left. Alright, so we have now defeated Guilty. Guilty is down for the count, fortunately. Uh, of course, you know, how much more do we have to go? I mean, how, much, how many more stairs are there in this building? How many... More f uh, battles must we face? Where is our dad? You know, really, you know, important questions like this. Uh, it, it is kind of exciting because it's like you, you just have to keep climbing and climbing and climbing. And we really have no idea. Brian? Brian? Ebity, Brian. Bad Brian. Uh, let's see here. MP, 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 HP, yes. That's the only problem with these knights is that oh, you upped your agility even more? Oh my gosh, I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like you. Oh, I like you. Now that you're dead. Man, that was... Oof. These guys are still packing quite a punch even though we gained more HP from killing uh, Guilty. I think we earned, yeah, a little more HP. I think we, yeah, we, yeah, we definitely earned more HP from killing him, but unfortunately our def our defense is not super great, but it's okay. And again, you could up those your defense and agility up to 500. I don't know how you would do that or how long it would take you, but there are cheats for that as well, fortunately. So, you know, if you guys have been paying attention when I start a file, sometimes it'll I'll, I'll pick the file select screen. And there it'll suddenly say like, oh, there's a, you have 500 HP and 500 MP. That was a comp that was purely a Game Shark code that I used a long time ago. I don't even have my Game Shark anymore from my N64. But oh, let's use Hot Steam. Just attack you all at the same time. Yeah, red one's dead. That's a good day. Hooray for good days. I like good days. They're my favorite. No, I like great days better. And you know what? Once we, de once we defeat King Belgius, it's going to be a great day here in Keltland. Oh. But it's going to be a very long day before we get to that point. But unfortunately, Brian doesn't sleep. He just occasionally rests at inns and rests, restuses at inns and, uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, okay. Is this the room that we came in earlier? No, it's not. It's a slightly different room. You see, we can actually walk here in the middle. Uh, there are a couple... I'm gonna make this a little bit of a long video, just because I want to get to a stopping point for real. Um, there are a couple treasure chests out here on the edges of these alcoves? Is that what is that what you would call these things? I don't know. But we found a healing, you know, some hero's drink and healing potion. Always useful. Uh, this is the door that we need to go in through now. I have I lost track on the stairs. Let's just say seventh floor. Why not? Seventh floor, and now Brian's gonna go up to the seventh and a half floor. Oh, I thought we were at seventeen minutes. My gosh, I can't count. Yep, it must be the Taco Bell. I know that's a terrible excuse, but that's what I'm sticking with. It must be the Taco Bell. Now, an awesome and a terrible thing that Taco Bell does here is, uh, since we're in Arizona and, the, and there's the Diamondbacks baseball. 
Uh, it's like if the Diamondbacks earn six runs in a game, whether or not they win, but if they earn six bucks, then the next day you get like two tacos for free if you just purchase a drink, which is kind of awesome. I have to admit. All right, so White Knights. Uh, let's. Isn't for some reason I remember my mom saying that she hated White Knight. I don't know why. Some something about I'm trying to think of it now, and it's not gonna make any sense out to anybody. Was there like a trans, like a logistics or freight company called White Knight? I'll have to look this up. Whoa! Really? They give us honey breads? You guys are so nice. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. That one honey, I, 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 I don't know what I would do without a honey bread. You guys are just so nice. Anyway, here is where the where we'll be stopping this video. There's another room right here. We found some mint leaves. Eh, eh could be worse. Anyway, uh, who was in this room? Uh, in here is a kid named Leonardo. Bartholomew's been taken. Bartholomew's been taken to a remote hiding place, Brian. I came here to rescue him, but I didn't make it in time. If you have the courage to go on, I'll help you regain your strength. How about it? Let's go ahead and save here. This is actually a pretty good place to save. And what we will do is we will explain who this guy is, and we'll pick up all of these goodies the next time. So this is Big Max again. Later.